Hi there, my name is Mike Dawson. Welcome to First Seconds Sketch School. I'm the author of this brand new graphic novel, The Fifth Quarter, which is in stores now and libraries and schools. And it's also available here, as you'll see, in hardcover. It's the story of this girl here, number one, Lori Block. Uh, she is in fourth grade. She loves to play basketball on her fourth grade travel team, but she mostly only goes in during the fifth quarter, which is the period before the real game starts where the not so good kids get to go in and the points don't count. The story is about Lori's drive to become better at basketball, to work out issues she has with her friends, and also issues she has at home. Her mother is running for political office, and so her mother has her own ambitions and goals, and the way that the two of them uh, deal with their goals and needs, and that's what the story is about. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to do some drawing of Lori here, show you how I draw Lori, how I like to draw action-packed basketball shots, so let's go have a look. It's important to design a character you want to draw over and over again in different expressions on their faces, doing different things, someone you like, you feel like you know well enough that you can put them in any situation that your story uh, calls for. So I'm going to try now to draw a picture of Lori dribbling a basketball. What I've done here is, is a little bit like what I would do normally if I was drawing a comic book page. I have made a sketch. This is a, a sketch that I've a reduced house I made it see-through so you can basically you can make out that I have a sketch there and I'm on a new layer above it I've got uh, now black ink and I'm going to let's put in a hand all right so Lori is dribbling uh, this is Lori knows how to dribble the ball Lori's been going to a lot of uh, practices Lori's getting pretty good at it um, so she's pretty good at running with the ball and then what I'm doing here is I've got the, the hand getting larger it's uh, more towards us. This is an action shot. So there we go. There's her with the ball. Let's draw some parts of her hand. Um, here's a crease of her elbow. And here is her shirt. So what I've got here, you can see, um, I i wasn't sure how I wanted to have our arm. When I first drew it, I had this arm back here, like I had it trailing behind her. But she should be uh, protecting the ball. So here, let's draw her hand up. Um, so look, she's got her hand here with a sharp elbow. Pushing, pushing away anybody who might be coming close. Um, so there is the the shirt, the jersey. She's wearing a jersey. Here, Lori is always number one. Put number one on her. That's her collar. Okay, so let's we make that invisible. Okay, what we've got, we've got her with the ball. We got her elbow up. Let's draw her, draw her legs. Okay, big shorts. You know, she's in fourth grade. The clothes are too big. Um, here, lots of lots of creases and folds. Here's the, the little pattern up the side. Um, so there she is, there she's running. And again, now this leg, for to make this more action-oriented, this leg is larger, it's coming towards us. And this one, it's gonna go off into the background, back behind us. Here's Lori's sneakers. She's got her Velcro strap. Okay, so that, there's a leg off behind her. And then let's draw, let's make this even larger. This may, this may look a bit ridiculously large. This is Lori's giant foot. Um, she's got coming towards us, some shadow in there. Uh, and what we'll even do here is make that. Uh, we'll use the paint bucket tool. There we go. So that's showing some weight underneath it. So what have we got left? We've got a drawing of Lori. She's running. Look, here's the ground underneath her. You feel like she's coming towards you. I feel like my sketch now is a little bit off. But let's try it. Let's, so I'm gonna put her head there. Uh-oh, I don't wanna mess it up now, cause uh, you know what? Let me just get rid of the sketch. I'm not looking at it anymore. Let's just make it happen. You know, I'm gonna, she was smiling in my sketch, but Lori's a determined girl. So now, there she is. Let's get rid of that. Oh no, she doesn't look quite right, does she? She's gotta have this, no. The hair design is a little odd. I mean, she's got this this big part right up the right up the center of her head. It probably would look a little strange in real life, but with character design, you're always going to know what is Lori. Lori's got a very specific, unique way of uh, her hair looking. And then right behind her, you draw like her cape, like she's a superhero. Um, you know, she's worked hard. She's gotten better. And outbilling behind her is her is her cape. And there, there you go. 
I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to do a second drawing for you now, and this, this part is going to be a little bit about designing characters. Let's see Lori's friends. We're going to zoom out. Zoom out. And now you can see there's Sophia, Elise, Suzanne, Maddie, and Lori. Five friends. If you think about it, when Lori, you know, has trouble with her friends, that's part of her being the fifth quarter. It's not just the period, the beginning of the game. But they all have the different character designs. Sophia's got this big nose. Look, uh, uh, Elise has got this pointy, pointy hair. Um, you know, Suzanne, she's taller, she's got glasses. And we know Maddie, Maddie's got this spiky mane of hair. So if we put off that layer, this is called the silhouette test. It's not a rule in comics, but it's a good rule of thumb. If you want to create character designs that are recognizable, you want to think about ones that you could be somewhat, you should be able to identify them just by their silhouettes. So we can still tell who's who. This is still Sophia, we can see. That's Elise, look, she's still got the, the pointy hair. We recognize that as Elise. She's a little tougher. She's a little tougher. You can make out her glasses. You can see the shape of her hair. She's taller. You can definitely tell who Maddie is. And that's called the silhouette test. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed those two sequences. I showed you how I draw my main character, Lori Block, and I showed you how I draw some of her friends and some of the things I think about when I'm designing characters. And I hope you will go check out The Fifth Quarter. It's available in stores everywhere. And also, I hope you stay tuned for more first-second sketch school.